Mankind and nature have worked hand in hand on the slopes of the Basque Mountains since the dawn of time. Wine producers like ourselves have had to adapt to these very steep hillsides. We've transformed the natural habitat by laying out these vineyards. We take comfort in saying that we've touched nature, but we haven't scarred it. The land doesn't belong to us. We're just passing through. We have a duty to pass it on in the best possible condition. This is the meaning of any countryside profession, whether you're a wine producer or something else. Thérèse and Michel have run the Arechea estate for 30 years. They make their Iruligi wine from their eight hectares of organic vines, which are all planted by hand. They've called their patch of land Amalur, or Mother Earth. This is the steepest set of vines we have, but the youngsters who come and work here say they're often less tired on the slope, where you feel a little closer to the sky. The couple's two sons, Iban and Theo, are also part of the team. They have a strong attachment to this land and to their region. In just a few years, they'll be taking over the running of the vineyard. Today, they're tasting some of the latest wine. It's quite lively, I think. Yes, but it has the characteristics of a warmer vintage. There's definitely a bit of pressure. We have to get this right. We have to maintain the image of the business that they've built up. But then maybe we can try some different styles and play around with some other wines. We produce smaller quantities so we can take a few more risks. And we want to change and revolutionize everything. There are other jewels of Basque know-how standing in this cellar. The family has been using these special jars to make wine for five years now. Michel drives us to the place where they are made. We're going to see the Goekochia family. They are potters in the village of Osses. They have this family-run artisanal pottery and some really exceptional skills. The Goigotshea factory was first set up in 1960. It's now run by Michel Goigotshea and his son. Here's the next generation, an artist as well. Here are the doliums. This is the baby that we designed and produced together. We introduced them to the world of wine and we helped them take that step. And the adventure continues. It's a dolium that was created five years ago. It was a big technical venture with lots of passion. We must have about 30 winemakers who use them today. <laughs> ah, this one's for me. <laughs> this family business sells its pottery right around the world. Some of its high-end works cost several thousand euros. They're made using an old technique and a length of rope. It's a really ingenious process which allows us to make large-scale pots. It's the rope that keeps the very soft clay upright. The last leg of our trip takes us away from the mountains. 60 kilometers further west on the Atlantic coast lies the town of Sibor. This port is home to 6,500 people. At lunchtime, the chef of the Aranzeliak restaurant keeps a local tradition alive, one which his father began 40 years ago. It was a cold winter, and on the TV and radio they told people to feed and water the birds. My dad didn't know what to do. He went to the butcher and got some beef trimmings, and he cut them up and put them on the wall. The birds came to eat, and they were happy. People saw what my dad did and kept asking him to do it. This restaurant was just a simple cafe back in the 1960s, and it was transformed by Jeannot and Viviane. 
If I made a success of this, it's because there were two of us. We were a team. Luckily, there were two of us. It wasn't just me. We worked hard, both of us. He was out front and I was in the kitchen. On the menu, you'll find the best of the local catch and some regional wines like these bottles brought by Theo from the Arecea estate. We really like these wines. These guys are doing a great job. Local links also play a role. These are wines that go well with fish and the regional cuisine. Well, well done and congratulations. Cheers. Cheers. In a few years' time, Teo and his brother will take over from their parents at the vineyard, just like Ramon Cho did 20 years ago at this restaurant. In the Basque country, traditional skills and a business brain rarely leave a family.